Hi everyone, it's your girl. Um, I'm so used to saying it's Miss Bomb Hair. Um, if you're one of my subscribers, uh, you do know that I did um, go by Miss Bomb Hair. But, you know, I just kind of figured that I was going to be doing a lot more on my channel than just um, hair and makeup. You know, I wanted to kind of be like a um, live channel as well. So, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of everything. So, I do... Or I do. I did change it to um, being Natasha Nicole. Of course, I'm an advocate fan of uh, being Mary Jane. So I was like, hey, let's just do, you know, being Natasha Nicole because I can teach you how to, you know, different stuff as far as like to bait a hook, as far as like fishing, you know, how to shoot a basketball. There's so many things that I like to do. And so, you know, I figured maybe sometimes I'm going to start filming some videos like that. Y'all just let me know down in the um, comment box if there's anything that you may want to see um, that people usually don't do, you know. So, it's just going to be me and my everyday life type thing. So, I changed it to that. But if you are new to my channel, uh, welcome. <laughs> so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I have lots of um, different hair videos and everything to show you guys. Uh, but today, I actually just came to give y'all a final review on this hair that I am still rocking, you guys. Uh, this is the uh, J-Show hair. Um, I purchased this hair via AliExpress. I have had this hair in now good five weeks. Um, I did purchase this, I believe, in a 18, a 16, a 14, and a 12-inch uh, silk base closure that I do have installed. Uh, I did make this onto a, um, you know, not a spandex stone cap, but, you know, your regular, you know, weaving net. I made it on there. Uh, I recently, not too long ago, added the elastic band as well just to help the closure lay a little uh, more flat because um, I do bobby pin my wigs on. I don't sew them on usually unless I'm like really going somewhere or you know swimming or something like that but other than that I'm just always body pinning it on uh, this was the um, Brazilian body wave hair and you guys this hair has held up as you can see this hair is still uh, super 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 soft um, I only co-washed the hair I think I shampooed it maybe twice uh, this hair has been very, very low maintenance. I haven't had to really um, shampoo the hair uh, that often. I usually, sometimes if I was lazy, you guys, I really did it like once a week. That's bad, I know. But, you know, when I'm wearing it down and, you know, curled and stuff. So, I usually know more than maybe like twice a week. So, um, it's been holding up really, really well. Um, I have been using... Uh, a new shampoo that I've been loving, uh, the Garnier Fructis. If y'all would like to see a video on how I um, take care of my units, you know, during that process, um, thumbs up this video. And then I'll make a video of me, you know, washing and maintaining my hair. Um, but this hair, I have had minimum shedding. I think that may be due to partly my fault because you know when I didn't you know wash it only wash it like once a week uh, I did notice a little more shedding but you know as the hair gets dirty it does shed more so I would find myself you know braiding both sides down you know and kind of wearing it to the side or something like that if it was dirty so I think that was partly my fault but when this hair is you know conditioned and everything regularly regularly I can't talk regularly um, I don't have as much shedding like today um, none and I do take this off every night and I have a feeling that probably has something to do with my shedding as well and as far as tangling um, I at the very beginning I didn't experience any tangling sorry if you hear that sound I need a new battery for my fire detector apologize about that but um what was I saying oh so tangling, <laughs> um, yeah, at first I really didn't experience, um, a lot of tangling or anything, um, it was perfectly fine. I would have to say for the first two, three weeks it was fine, but now I'm starting to experience, you know, a little tangling back here in the nape area, which I always seem to get that with 
no matter what kind of weave I've had, maybe I just haven't had expensive expensive enough weave to not experience that. But you know, I start to get that eventually. So it's just something that just kind of happens. I just kind of take better care of it. Uh, I have been using um, this uh, Chi Silk Infusion Silk Reconstructing Complex. Um, you can find this at Walmart. It is on the pricey side, but a little goes a long way. And so back here in this nape area, I tend to put a little bit of that on there. So um, this is made, uh, special, our Chi products are made, you know, with lots of hydration. Really? But um, I would use that on the back in the nape area. And it kind of, you know, kind of hydrates it and makes it feel you know really silky and silky and smooth so that kind of you know lasts for a while i also had like a um little piece of hair left over when i was making this wig maybe like it wasn't hardly anything but um also this hair is bleachable so um it took bleach very well i just used the bw2 bleach with a I think I use like a 40, vo 40 volume developer. Uh, one of my friends was actually wanting like a colored piece of hair in her hair. So I, so I was like, you know, I had that hair left over. So I bleached it for her and dyed that little piece. And it took the dye very well. And she had hers like a, like manic panic, like purple, like my lip. Well, maybe a little darker, but really, really purple. And that hair took color very well. Um, it lifted within like, I think I left the bleach on there for like 30, 45 minutes and I did not use heat. So it lifted very well. So I guess you can get the lift a little higher if you wanted to by using heat. I just didn't because I just didn't know how it was going to turn out. So, but other than that, I really don't have that many complaints about this hair. But one more thing, one more complaint. Sorry. Um, this hair uh, on my closure, I have noticed a not total difference but somewhat very noticeable um on my closure is starting to get a little more frizzy it's like the hair is more coarse uh i find myself having to straighten the closure out using a little bit of this um cheese silkening serum and then flat ironing it out and then have to curl it or whatever else i'm doing to the hair but the wefted hair it's fine. It's not changing its texture or, you know, it's not feeling like that. But the closure is, and it was feeling just like a little bit rough. So I've been doing that. So flat ironing the closure first and then um, going about my business, whatever, you know, however I'm rocking the hair that day. So that's the only thing. But of course, you could always, you know, replace the closure and still use the hair. Um, I did only order like the three bundles and a closure. But with this hair, it was um, wefted very well, but the bundles wasn't as thick as I liked them to be. It wasn't as full as I'm um, used to some Brazilian hair being, but that was fine because I was really going for the natural look anyway. Um, so, you know, I still wore the hair or whatever, but next time, you know, if I order hair from them, I would make sure to order at least four bundles in a closure just to make sure, you know, I have that volume and, you know, just more hair I like a lot of hair so yeah but um other than that this is great hair uh I feel like I would probably I'm still gonna keep this hair um with great maintenance you can keep this hair for a while and I've had it like five weeks and and it still feels like butter like it's it's crazy how silky it really does feel it's still for the closure part but you know for $160, I basically paid $40 for each bundle and $40 for the closure. So I can't go wrong with that. You can always order another one. So I probably will do that and still keep the wefted hair on the bottom. Maybe add a little more hair to it whenever, you know, I re-sew it back together. But, um, yeah, I will be keeping this hair because this hair has held up. So it's awesome. But um, I know I did not, you know, do... You know, an in-between stage, I kind of went from initial review to final review, but I kind of just ordered some hair on a whim. I've been wanting some Cambodian hair, and I ordered some, and I will make sure I would do a, um, what do they call it? Unboxing, unpacking, 
initial review not initial. you know when it first comes i open it show you what the hair looks like uh that hair i did order a little bit shorter because it is starting to um get hot outside uh i do work outside sometimes now too uh bartending so i just wanted something else a little you know cooler on my neck so i didn't have to like you know all this hair is just not made for me so yeah so i know this video is just all over the place i apologize i'm gonna get this together um i'm thinking about actually uploading videos um starting to do like a schedule so you would kind of know when my videos are coming um i'm thinking of starting to do them like a monday wednesday and friday start uploading uh and i will have um more videos coming up because I have a lot of videos that I need to edit and I bought a whole lot of new products on my haul and I want to do looks with my pro palette and my chocolate bar palette and you know just a lot of different stuff so yeah so y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button stay tuned uh, if you have any questions comments um, ideas for videos you know what to do so yeah until next time, I love you guys and thank you for rocking with me. You the best, best, best. Later.